The language of the instructions does not matter in Yoga Nidra. If you practice in a completely unknown language, you are actually bypassing the intellectual aspect of Yoga Nidra. For instance, even if I dictate to you in Hindi instead of English, your consciousness will still become more aware. It is the tone of voice, the person and the personality that are important. Since an instructor is not always available, you can listen to a tape and practice the technique. Start the tape, lie down and listen to the voice, even if you do not understand the language. The sound of the voice of a great person, such as your guru, will have a great impact on your whole physical and psycho-emotional structure. Because this voice is not just the voice of an ordinary person, it works more like a grace and blessing. If Swamiji taught you in Sanskrit, it would be better still, because it is the melody of the language, as well as its meaning, which goes into the interior consciousness and restructures your awareness. Now get ready for the practice of Yoga Nidra. Lie down and cover yourself, at least the feet if necessary. Head should be resting on the mat. Close the eyes and lie in Shavasana, palms facing upwards, feet a little apart. Any movement you want to make, please do it now. Then you should not allow yourself to move physically for at least 45 minutes. Keep the eyes and the mouth closed. Stop all physical movement and lie completely motionless, like a dead body in Shavasana. The body is quiet, but under your control. You are still conscious, although you are not allowing the body to move. No physical movement. No movement of the toes. No movement of the fingers. No movements of head or legs, no quivering of any part of the body, no tightening of any muscles, no stretching of the body. Now take your awareness inside and begin to investigate the whole physical body. Every joint and muscle should be completely relaxed. Relax the palms, the fingers, the feet, the toes, the ankles, the calf muscles, the knees, the thighs, your hamstrings, the buttocks, the back, the shoulders, the chest, the arms, the elbows, the hands, the head and neck. Relax the whole body. Investigate if there is any tension. If there is any tension, loosen it. If the muscles are tight, release them. Now there should be no more physical movement. During the period of Yoga Nidra, you should not move the physical body. No physical movement should take place under any circumstances. No matter what sensation you may feel, whether itching, pain, mosquitoes, or insects biting you. No matter what happens, you should not move the physical body. This is the first and most important condition for Yoga Nidra. You are also not sup supposed to sleep. Yoga Nidra is the practice to make you more and more aware, to raise the subtle inner awareness, not the gross upper layer. Let the whole body remain quiet for some time and work with the subtle awareness. Now that your whole physical body is quiet and not moving, try to experience all the subtle movements in your body. The physical body is moving on its own without effort, in spite of all control. Which parts are moving? Where is the movement? Are your feet moving? Are the toes, the fingers, the thighs twitching? Is the head turned to one side? Is the chest or the stomach moving? 
Yes, the stomach is moving forward and back, up and down. You are not doing this. It is happening on its own. And you are not going to stop it. Just watch it. How does all this movement take place? Have you discovered the reason for the movements of the navel, the stomach, the abdomen and chest? They seem to be expanding and contracting a little bit of the time. The breath is flowing in and out. And as a result, the chest seems to be expanding and contracting just a little in the throat between the collarbones. There also seem to be some movements. The depression of the throat seems to be moving upwards and downwards with respiration. The breath is flowing in and out through the nostrils. The breath is the cause of all this inner movement, even causing palpitation in Sushumna and between the two eyebrows. In spite of all your control, movement is still occurring in the physical body. This has been going on by itself all the 24 hours of the day, from the moment you were born. Become aware of this movement, the movement of the breath, the inspiration, expiration through the nostrils. This breath is causing movement in many parts of the body. The grossest movement occurs in the abdomen, stomach, heart, chest, throat and nostrils. These are the grosser movements which I am bringing to your notice. Of course, the whole body is vibrating each and every hair of the body and all the pranas are moving but ordinarily we are unaware of it. The breath is going in and out through the nostrils particularly watch the process of the breath. The movement seems to be from the navel up to the throat in and from the throat down to the navel out. Keep on watching just witness it. This is Sakshi Bhava, the attitude of witnessing. Now let your consciousness rotate between the throat and navel. The movement of the breath may be through the nostrils, but the consciousness must go from the navel to the throat, and from the throat to the navel. Before beginning the actual practice of Yoga Nidra, we make a Sankalpa, a short resolve. A resolve can be of three types, material, mental or spiritual. First, you must choose which kind of resolve you want to make. Some people resolve to get rid of bad habits, cure their sickness, serve humanity in a certain way, achieve some city or mysterious power. But it is better not to waste the power of Sankalpa on such small things. A wise man makes a sankalpa to attain divine qualities or to achieve progress on the spiritual path. Therefore, consider well before making your sankalpa. Choose one thing as your resolve for Yoga Nidra. You are free to make your own choice. I am not trying to influence you. You can make any resolve, whatever you think of, but the sankalpa should be very brief. Only a few words, the same sentence, should always be used whenever you repeat the Sankalpa. The wording should not change, even if the meaning stays the same. Every time you practice Yoga Nidra, meditation or any sadhana, you should remember your Sankalpa in the beginning and repeat it a few times. You can decide on a Sankalpa now, or you can wait until later on. If you have already decided one, recall it now. Although you don't have to hurry in choosing your resolution, you can make it now if you know what you want to achieve. 
what you want to be or what you want to do in your life. Make a resolve and fix the language of the resolve. Don't make the resolve today in English, tomorrow in Italian or the next day in Hindi. Whichever phrase and language you choose, it should always be the same until the resolve is fulfilled. The Sankalpa made during the practice of Yoga Nidra is always fulfilled. It never fails. But you cannot be impatient. You must wait patiently and keep practicing it. Repeat the Sankalpa mentally. Now again continue with your breath awareness. Make sure you are not moving your physical body. Keep the sleep away and avoid becoming unconscious. Do not become lost in thought. Remain conscious and aware of what I am saying. Follow consciously and not mechanically. Know that you are following what I am saying. Now I will guide you through the different parts of your physical body. One by one, I will take your consciousness to each and every part of your physical body. At the same time, you will visualize each part and repeat it mentally. You are not going to make any physical movement. You are only going to move the consciousness. Visualize that particular part which I will name and say the name mentally. Go along with me at the same speed. I will move from one part to the other and you will follow along with your awareness. Get ready to move your consciousness. Do not move your body. Now, visualize the right hand thumb and say mentally right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Visualize all five fingers together, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm. I am guiding you along the right side. I will tell you when to change the, to the left one. Visualize the right elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right chest, right side, waist, hip, buttock, thigh, hamstring, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. Now take your consciousness to the left side, just as we were visualizing the parts of the right side, now we, we will visualize those parts on the left side. Start with the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left chest, side, waist, hip, buttock, thigh, hamstring, knee, calf muscle, ankle, Heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. Now, I will take you from your toes up to the crown of your head. Be prepared, make your consciousness ready to move from one, from the toes up to the head. Right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all the five right toes together. Left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. Visualize all the left toes together. Now move your consciousness right and, the, and left, and I say the parts alternately. Right sole, left sole, both soles together. Right heel, left heel, both heels together. Right ankle, left ankle, both ankles together. Right calf muscle, left calf muscle, 
both calf muscles together. Right knee, left knee, both knees together. Right thigh, left thigh, both thighs together. Right hamstring, left hamstring, both hamstring together. Right buttock, left buttock, both buttocks together. Right hip, left hip, both hips together. Waist, lower abdomen, upper abdomen, whole of the abdomen. Right side of the chest, left side of the chest, whole chest. Right collarbone, left collarbone, center of the collarbone, throat. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right arm, left arm. Right elbow, left elbow, right hand, left hand, right thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, right side of the back, left side of the back, whole of the spine, back of the neck, front of the neck, the whole neck. Chin, lower lip, upper lip, both lips together, teeth, tongue. Right cheek, left cheek, both cheeks. Right nostrils, left nostril, both nostrils. Tip of the nose, whole of the nose. Right eyelid, left eyelid, right eyeball, left eyeball. Both eyeballs together. Right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrows, center. Right temple, left temple, forehead, back of the head, crown of the head, whole face, whole head. Now we will take the body in parts, whole right arm, whole left arm, whole right leg, whole left leg, whole front, whole back, whole right side of the body, whole left side of the body, whole body together, whole body together, whole body together. See the whole physical form lying on the floor as though you are standing outside the body. Become aware of the touching points between the floor and your physical body. Become aware of the parts of your whole physical body absorbing energy from the floor. Be aware of the front part of your body deriving prana from the air. Feel the vibrations of prana moving through your body as a result of the practice. The physical body has become completely quiet become aware of the other body surrounding you. Be aware of me instructing you in the practice and you and of you following along mentally. Experience tranquility, peace and quiet. Become aware of the whole environment and your whole body. Whole body. Whole body. Please do not sleep. This is the secret of Yoga Nidra. You should not sleep especially if you are practicing for spiritual gain. In the practice of Yoga Nidra, you are neither sleeping nor awake, but somewhere in between. The consciousness is functioning with a little bit of awareness. If you want to achieve the state of Yoga Nidra, avoid sleep and do not become lost in thought. Try not to become unconscious. Do not listen mechanically. Listen to the instructions carefully. Follow them and practice what is said. Now, visualize the whole body lying on the floor completely relaxed and tranquil. Feel the body becoming very hot. Try to experience the sensation of heat throughout the body. Recall the feeling of being very, very hot, whether due to summer sun, a heater, or warm clothing. Try to Create the sensation of heat now. Try to feel the sensation of heat exactly as you have experienced it in the past. If you have never felt extreme heat, then try to feel it now. Next, reverse the feeling. Try to feel cold, shivering cold, as if you are standing outside in an icy wind, wearing only, only thin clothing. How chilled you would feel. Try to feel the coldness through 
conscious effort because there is no cold wind here. There are no external influences affecting the body to make you feel cold. Create this sensation of cold with your consciousness. Try to experience this cold. Now try to experience heaviness in the physical body. The body is becoming heavier and heavier. It has become so heavy that you are unable to move any part. You are unable to raise even an eyelid. You are not even able to wiggle the toes or fingers. The body has become so heavy. Now experience a sensation of lightness throughout the body, not heaviness, but lightness. Feel the body becoming lighter and lighter and lighter, as if it is completely weightless. The body is so light, as light as a piece of cotton. Try to experience the lightness of your physical body. Now we will go on to chakra awareness. In this light physical body, visualize the chakras Muladhara, Swadhisthana, Manipura, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Ashna, and Sahasrara. Sahasrara is located at the crown of the head. It is associated with the Pituitari body. Ashna, the Guru chakra, is behind the eyebrow center. It is associated with the pineal body at the top of the spinal cord. Next one is Vishuddhi, located within the spinal cord behind the throat where you feel palpitations. Below is Anhata, behind the heart. Manipura, behind the navel. Swadhisthana, at the third disc of the sacrum, Muladhara at the base of the spinal cord within the perineum. These centers are junctions for branches of the nervous system. They are symbolic and are always represented by different colored lotus flowers. Try to remember the location of each chakra as it is named Muladhara at the bottom of the spinal cord, Swadhisthana in the third disc of the sacrum, Manipura behind the navel in the spinal cord, Anatta behind the heart, Vishuddhi behind the throat, Ashna at the top of the spinal cord and Sahasrara at the crown of the head. This light body you are experiencing is able to see the subtle body within and the places where the chakras are situated. Sahasrara, crown of the head, Ashna, behind the eyebrows, Vishuddhi, behind the
behind the throat, anatta behind the heart, manipura behind the navel, swadhisthana third disc of sacrum, muladhara base of the spinal cord, swadhisthana third disc of sacrum, manipura behind the navel, anatta behind the heart. Vishuddhi behind the throat, Ashna between eyebrows, Sahasrara crown of the head, Now get ready to end the practice. Again, remember your sankapa and repeat it mentally. Three times. Start moving gently the extremities of your body, your toes, your finger, slowly increasing the movements. Do you maybe want to come into a stretching position, holding your hands together above your head and elongating your spine from head to sacrum through the leg? At your own time and pace. Connect again with your physical body and whenever you feel ready for it, please come to a sitting position. Without opening the eyes. Once, you, once you're sitting up, if you feel the need for some extra stretching before taking a quiet sitting position, please do so now. Once you're ready, please sit with the head straight eyes closed, then the palms of your hands on the knees. Once you're ready, please chant the Onskara sound three times at your own time and pitch just let the own sound vibrate through your physical body and in the space around you three long deep Once you've done so, your today's practice of yoga nidra is complete. Haryam Tatsat. Thank you. Namaste.